try to concentrate on uh, non-major label things. A lot of independent labels, local bands. Um, we don't like to get too much, uh, give too much exposure to music that already has a lot of money behind it, because we figure we're in a unique opportunity here, unique position here, to uh, be able to give exposure to things that people normally wouldn't hear. So if we're playing um, corporate-oriented rock, it's not really going to be worth anything to us to, to push that. I think with a lot of college DJs, they'll, they'll try to get stuff that's really big before it happens. Um, a good example like Nirvana and uh, Teenage Fan Club were being played like a year or two ago, um, and nobody heard about them then. It seems like the small labels are more interested in the artist and artist development and music, which is what we try to focus on here. Because our issue is supposed to be an educational. Uh, like, it's in our charter that we're an educational station. And we think that we're educating the listeners by giving them music that's more artistically valued, at least to certain people. In recent history, there's been a lot of problems with obscenity, you know, with the two live crew and people getting really nasty in their records. Uh, as a matter of fact, I called the FCC because apparently there's been a whole lot of hokey pokey going around as far as the rules. Uh, and the current ruling would that be after 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. in the morning that the there aren't any major restrictions placed on what you can play and what you can broadcast. However, uh, if you happen to offend like a citizen who would be listening, they can get in contact with the FCC you know, by letter of complaint. Uh, the FCC would you know, investigate what you're broadcasting, and they could make the college pull, pull our license. Well, the local scene, um, because New Brunswick's a college town, Rutgers produces quite a few bands around here. And it's really like a thriving community. Everyone, mostly everyone knows each other, and uh, there's a few clubs that everyone plays at. Um, RSU has sort of been a focal point for the local music scene for a number of years now. Uh, we've had quite a few bands that have almost broken big, and for one reason or another haven't, but um, RSU has promoted them and gotten them more exposure than they would just playing out the, at the local clubs. Um, there are several uh, small record companies that have sprung up around the local scene. Um, well Primed Records, which is one that I personally work for, uh, Complex Records, uh, which puts out a few other bands. And it's, it's mostly a community thing. The bands will kick in money and we'll put out the records. And it's very symbiotic. And RSU works into that because um, the people that work at RSU are very much involved with the local scene. And they like to help out. And it, it would be a, a big ego boost if a local band made it big nationally. We had a Loose was on the verge of it a few years ago, or act actually a few months ago, uh, but they were dropped by Warner Brothers, which was sort of unfortunate. But um, it seems that uh, people really undervalued the local music scene around here. It's, there's a lot of talent and uh, a lot of real, really creative energies going on if it could just be harnessed. And I think RSU really, uh, really helps in getting it out to the people. Well, with college radio, there's a lot more spontaneity and. You're, you're flexible to do anything you want, whereas with, uh, with mainstream radio, especially uh, classic rock and um, top 40, classic rock is kind of like pop culture's Muzak. You can, be, um, you can be working on something and stop and know where the song is and just like totally blank out and start talking to someone else. And as soon as you stop and you go back to the music, you'll know the words, you know who the artist is, you know what the title of the song is. You don't even have to think about it. So, um, you know, whereas with a lot of the stuff that's played on college and, you know, alternative radio, more so co like with college radio, um, I get people calling me up sometimes asking me what I'm thinking when I play something, you know. It, it really, it stops and makes you think, well, why are they playing that? Or, you know, it, some people just don't get it, so other people do, and it, um, yeah, it's just so much different than, um, you know, anything else. You have to think when you listen to it, you know. You have to pay attention, I think, more so. For example, I just bought the new Fruitcake 7-inch, okay? Fruitcake is, uh, although it doesn't mean a lot to anybody, or most people don't know who they were. Drunks with Guns had uh, a guy named Mike, and he formed Fruitcake. And it's part of a... Uh, rock opera about a, um, a hotel manager who spies on his guests. And, you know, they only made 500 copies of this, and 
Nobody will ever see this record in a, in a year, except for the people who own it. One band, uh, Transylvia, uh, they just put out a 7-inch, which uh, got a lot of play here, and that charted. Uh, Loose, I mentioned before, uh, they had a 7-inch out on Complex Records, and that did really well here. Um, it was a CD that came out that uh, I helped produce with, uh, with, with the label I, I work for, that uh, was called the Thorazine Stretch Factor, and that had 16 different New Brunswick bands on it, and that was played here. Um, that was number one here for quite a few weeks, and some of the, some of the other bands, Wooden Soldiers, were really big. They they recently broke up, but uh, Greg Bajizu is uh, still still playing around. Uh, Tiny Lights, which uh, they started here, they're now sort of based in Hoboken, and they they've done well. Uh, Mr. Thumb, which is another band that has a seven inch coming out soon. Um, I'm trying to think, All God's Children is an interesting band around here. They're sort of a uh, world music influenced klezmer band and they have about like 12 members and that's pretty interesting and chiaroscuro straight pop band straight uh, pop rock um there's just a wealth of bands and it seems like every week a new band pops up and usually it's something pretty good occasionally it's something not too good and they usually don't stick around for long if we're lucky but uh yeah, there's definitely quite a, quite a bit of music around here